Hello and welcome from Mülheim, Ruhr, Germany. This is the Ahorn dealership, one of three main dealerships. And this is the Canada TE Motorhome. And this one is a used one. It's a 2017 model. And so I'm always telling people to buy used vans. I mean, I'm telling you, don't buy, don't buy a van at all. I tell people to rent van. You rent it first, right? Or you borrow it, then you can rent it, and, um, and then you rent it again. Then you get a used one, right? So don't sort of ask me what van should I buy, because uh, what vans you see on my site are normally vans that even if you bought them after seeing them immediately. So the video ends. Let's say at 25 past uh, nine, and you ring up th at half past nine, and you say I want to buy a van. You get an answering machine says so you have to ring back tomorrow morning. So you ring back tomorrow morning because it's too late, and, and then you ring back tomorrow morning. Say, yeah, sure, you can have it, uh, but it'll delivery be in a year and a half's time. And that's not exaggerated. That's what usual is. But if you can come and get a used van, they're available immediately now something like this new will cost from 45,000 euros this one here will cost more than that because it's got extra kit inside ah you see but it's used it should cost less well yes but this has got extras in it and so it's gonna cost you more and that's quite normal. The um, motorhomes are not cars, they don't lose their value, particularly in the current climate. Uh, but anyway, let's have a look at some of the things that this one here has got. When you can see one of the things up there, I mean, it's got a Chuma Aventa, and I think that you're looking at about three and a half thousand euros, I think, off the top of my head. And uh, for starters, and right, but. Let's talk a little bit about the, the van. So, uh, the motorhome. So, what we've got here is single bed layout. But if you want, you can join it together. There's a thing to join up with. And what you do is you lift this thing up here and you pull this thing here out like that. And I won't do it with just one hand. You say, I need something to help me do this. And then you can stick this in the middle. And, and that one there as well, you can stick in the middle. And then you've got a nice big bed. And you've got this here, the uh, the top, so you don't actually have to see the person you're sleeping with. You may say that that's not a very good idea. Well, they've thought that one in new models, the wardrobe is no longer here. It's moved somewhere else. I don't know any new motorhomes that actually have this. This, this layout, I would say this was the sort of thing that was uh, much commoner in the first decade of this century and now we're on the third decade. That's in my motorhome experience and this is the second decade when this one was of course actually built. Right, um, now you may say, well uh, that's, uh, that's all very good but what about some shelves? Once I was against shelves, now I'm sort of for them and quite honest I don't really know. But I will say one thing, whatever's in there, every time you open the thing, the door, this will fall out. Whatever's inside will fall out. There you go, same thing in there. These things here at the back, yeah, quite deep, I suppose you're using your space up. Would have been nicer to have something at the front, but, 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 it's gonna hit this thing here, so that's not really possible. But now, there are sort of things you can actually put here, sort of, um, I can talk about a company called, um, this thing called Kipper, which is manufactured near Gunsberg, and you sort of clip it off, and you can just sort of clip it off from one way to the other. Elastic. Um, right. If you want to get into the garage really quickly, you can do it like this. And that's what the garage looks like. So if I get locked in this van tonight, for example, I'll be able to get out via the garage. Now, uh, now this is a comparatively cheap brand. Uh, you know, 45,000 may sound like a lot of cash and you got it in your pocket, but, but when it comes to motorhomes, it isn't. And so more expensive versions or well, sort of the German layout will allow you, sorry, some more expensive vans with a German layout like this will give you uh, possibly a larger garage, but they will cost you a lot more cash. Right, down here we've got the boiler. There's the boiler and something else in there. Don't quite know what that is. But anyway, there's a boiler plus something else, I don't know what it is. 
in there and as it's the boiler there's your ventilation and this side you can stick your clothes if you've got any if you have any clothes you can stick some cushions in there instead I've also filmed the more recent versions of this vehicle and you will note they are somewhat different at the back it doesn't have the the wardrobe sit there for example shower now one of the thing about using the shower is uh, in the vans is that uh, there are people who say that they don't want to use the shower in the van because it sort of does make things a bit damp and I understand that point of view I, I you know I, the campsite I don't use the showers I'd rather sort of get washed in my own uh, place but uh, I think I'm in a minority on that one nice uh, standard kitchen I can see that somebody's left the, uh, the this was open up here <laughs> and because that's that's fallen from that's fallen from the sky now in more recent models this is a horn uses central locking but this is before I started using central locking enormous big table and it's one of these tables I'll show the table it'll go down you see it's got these different different heights it comes from Italy they're pretty expensive you want to buy one of them I looked it up for my own vehicle and uh, I was rather rather shocked at the price the bed will come down. I haven't got the key, so I won't be able to show it. But I have, I have shown it in other videos coming down. Another little extra you've got here, and this one here, is the television. And uh, so, if you'd like to buy a television, that'll save you some cash. I noticed I've also put these things. Oh, oh, this has got the Goldschmidt suspension system in as well. No, it is a pretty expensive thing to get. And Mr. Goldsmith is a friend of mine, Dieter. So he sold the company though to Heimer. Right, and it's got a bigger fridge than I think than what was standard. I think the standard is a smaller, a smaller one than that. I think, as I recall. So that's all going to have, that's all why there's going to be no difference between the price of buying one of these, this one here, and a new one, but the new one won't have all the features you have to pay extra for them. Look in the garage, you've already seen. Plug in the garage. Exhaust the boiler. Oh, it's got a SOG toilet as well, isn't it? It's even more money. It's your water. So, I hope you found that of interest, and if you did, then you might want to subscribe. And if you didn't, then you've just wasted 9 minutes and 34 seconds. So, thanks for watching.